I really liked being a student in Germany because the atmosphere is really a mix of work hard, play hard. It boasts a lot of opportunities and especially for me as a political science student, there was lots of different things that I was able to experience and learn so much about German politics. Germany is setting the pace for uh, the research and innovation standards of engineering and uh, science technology. I like studying in Germany because there was so many opportunities to travel all over the place. One of the best things about Germany is how close it is to other countries. One weekend in particular, I woke up on a Friday with no plans for the weekend, and by noon I decided to go to Poland, and 5 p.m. I was on a train there. Actually, some of the best conversations I had in Germany I happened to be on the train. Um, you know, every place I went to, six, seven hours, I would engage in a two-hour, three-hour conversation with the next uh, Bavarian 80-year-old man, 70-year-old woman. It was such a great deal because you can make your own schedule and have unlimited travel to any city in Germany. If you miss a train, there's absolutely no commitment with tickets and there's basically no stress. I had a bike in the spring in Berlin and I rode, I rode to university, I rode to yoga, and it was just a fabulous time. I love how close by everything is in the university town. It was awesome to have the opportunity to go and do something fun, basically in the middle of a little wilderness that they have there. I studied in Freiburg, and so we were in the Black Forest, and we would go hiking all the time, and on the weekends and after class. And My favorite thing about the German culture was how active the people are, and how much they love to be outside and in nature. Germany is very eco-friendly. Uh, they take recycling very seriously. Just from the very beginning, when you go to the airport and you, you look at the trash cans, and there's four different sections, and you're like, I have a soda bottle cap, what do I do with that? Cultural and environmental differences allowed me to do things I've never done before. I went to a live viewing of a one of the EU German soccer games, and there were over 2,500 people there, and everyone was just screaming and singing and shouting, and the atmosphere was really unbelievable, and it was great to be sort of part of this large, uh, exciting event. The fan culture and enthusiasm around football is nuts and you can experience so much diversity in other cultures. I really, really enjoyed learning about the different regional dialects within Germany. Uh, so, Schwabisch, Kosch, Bayerisch, and sort of all the different vocabulary associated with them, the cultures, the styles, the music. The German language is so, so powerful. They don't just go hiking or take a hike, they make one. Wir machen eine Wanderung. And I really liked having some of the Glühwein, which is like warm wine, or some eat some Smashkuchen, which was um, cake covered in lard. German food is awesome. You can have dinner, or currywurst, or schnitzel, or even just get Apfelstrudel, or some really good Kaffee and Kuchen where you would just sit around with your friends drinking coffee in the afternoon and just trying all the different cakes. And then you go there and there's so much to do and so much to discover that it's really, I mean, you have everything. There's so much diversity and it's, it's more similar to America than you would imagine, but also you have to get to learn the people and their culture. It should be definitely explored by everyone and anyone who has the opportunity to go there. Oh, sure. <laughs> Ah, c'est so chou. Sure. <laughs>